The document folder that I have chosen to process for this tutorial is a book that has been digitized in such a way that there is one book page per image. So let's choose our default processing template and move right on from the import to the image processing step. Now in the image processing step, we have the ability to create a list of actions for LIM to apply to all of the other images within the same folder. In the center of the screen, you can see that we have a preview of an image. Just to the right of that will be a list of image processes or tools that have been applied. And on the far right is a full list of tools that we have to apply or to choose from. So for this example, I want to end up with cropped pages that have been converted to grayscale with the background removed. The Remove Clamps tool will detect and erase clamps from Kirtas scanners. You'll notice that several tools in LIM are actually made up of two different parts. There's a selection and then an action. So to crop, we're going to use the Detect Page Region tool and the Crop tool. The Detect Page Region tool is going to analyze the image and draw a selection box around the edge of the page. And this is the box that LIM will reference when I crop. Within this tool, I can specify how much of the book is visible in my image. In this case, it's a full page and a spine and part of the next page. I can also adjust the size of the selection box by defining a margin. A positive number will add pixels to the selection, making the selection bigger than the page, whereas a negative number will make the selection smaller and crop inside the edge of the page. I can also choose to fix the crop size so that all images within the document will have exactly the same dimensions then crop. Next, I will choose the color mode tool and convert the image into grayscale, and then remove background. Now, the text is still in grayscale. I'll zoom in so that's easier to see. But all of the color content in the background has been removed and and this will make it easier to erase any artifacts from your image in the QC step. I'm going to finish this off by adding an automatic to skew. We can do curvature correction, just leave the default settings on that one, and horizontal centering. We also have the ability to reorder or rearrange tools within this list by simply clicking and dragging. Pressing the green Start button in the lower left corner of the screen will move this book to the current dashboard and LIM will automatically apply this list of tools or actions to each image within the document folder. Please continue on to the next video in this series titled Quality Control.